Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video is a match preview, Charlton versus Luton Town in this all-important League One game. Now, I'm going to do my best to cover this as neutral as possible, as being a Luton fan, it's very difficult to do that. But firstly, let's cover stuff which have happened regards to Luton this week. Jack Stacey won Player of the Month award, which is fantastic, 100% deserved it. Mick Harford won Manager of the Month award, a bit too late, to be honest, should have won it ages ago, but he's finally won it. And normally you have a curse, don't you, when you win a Manager of the Month award. Next game you lose it. Who are we playing next game? Charlton. Thanks. Just absolutely. It's just great. It's, it, we're not going to win, are we? We're just not going to win. But anyway, Charlton, out of all the teams which we've got to play, well, yeah, which Luton have got to play, they are most likely the ones which can actually beat us. And with the form they are in, it's quite scary that... It, that could actually happen and with the amount of players we've got well the amount of key players which we've got out injured or suspended now to be fair to you guys i actually don't know if our players are actually going to be returning from injury as i'm recording this video because nothing's been said about lawal lawal mccall mack or danny hilton so that's three important key like players there and they look like they're missing this game which is massive because lawal lawal recently has been immense. Hilton's been scoring a few goals, but got injured against Doncaster. And McCormack, I think, in that, like, he protects the back four so well, and he's got that experience, which help in massive games like this. The last time Luton actually won at Charlton was in 1987, and that's when we won 1 0, and a certain Mick Harford scored the goal. But that was in 1987. Now, normally, when we haven't beating teams at their ground in such a long time during like a champion like when we go for like, like during a like title winning season we normally break these type of records we've done it in the past we did it at commentary like we've never won there in so many years Charlton could be that game where we could break that record if you understand where I'm coming from do I reckon we will beat Charlton I, I'm sorry I just don't think we will Charlton have got a fantastic record against the top six sides. They beat Barnsley at home 2-0, Doncaster at home 2-0, drawed at home to Sunderland 1-0, and they also beat Portsmouth 2-1. Like, come on, it's going to be a tough game, and they've got to play us now, and to be fair, I think it's going to be a draw. I feel like Luton can't lose this game, especially after drawing against Blackpool. I was at work at the time during the game and literally when I found out Collins got sent off and we went 2-1 down, I thought that our unbeaten run was over. Literally, Cummins saves the day, Petty assisted the goal and we ended up drawing the game 2 all, which we're very lucky. And we could have actually gone on to win that game as Monker had a chance in the 90th minute. Charlton have only lost one game since the start of 2019. That is a fantastic record to have so far. When you've got key players like Williams in the midfield, who I believe is a championship player for Charlton, and Taylor, who causes so many problems as well. To be fair, Charlton have got a decent squad. They've got a young manager with fresh ideas. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy at all. And like I said earlier, when you've got key players out injured, it's, it's going to... It is going to like affect the game. It will affect the game. It will affect the way Luton play. Now, the question is, for a lot of Luton fans, is what players are going to be in the side? Is it going to be Cummins coming into the side? Is it going to be Moncur? And it, Lee's not been performing, so is he going to get dropped? Is Harry Cornick going to go straight into the side? So there's all these questions where, like, who's going to play? Is Loa Loa fit enough to play? Is Danny Hilton, like, is Danny Hilton fit to play? We don't know. And that's the amazing thing is, like, when we're going to go to this Charlton game, we don't know who's going to be fit, who's going, who's going to be available. But the fact is, we need to go there and we need to get something out of the game. If Luton, honestly, if Luton win, well, beat Charlton, the league is won. They, I can't see the players bottling that lead. There's no way that can happen. I, I just can't see it. However, if it's a draw or if Charlton, like, win... Sunderland are catching up, so we rip like at well, Luton fans, um, obviously, including myself, are going to be hoping Sunderland drop points. And I think Cholton fans would want that as well because I you're not too far away, you know. I'd say that you're out of the title race, however, I still think second place is still up for grabs, and obviously, you still want to end the season 
like on the best form possible as well. So you kind of want the teams around you to drop points all the time. You just want that to happen. You want to finish high as possible. But this game against Shelton is absolutely massive for both set of fans. I think it's more important for Luton fans to be fair because if we win this, then it's pretty much certain promotion is going to be happening. I think if we win this and depending on what other results happen around the place, we could get promoted at Accrington if we win and obviously if results go in our favour as well. So we could get promoted like next week. So it's kind of like you kind of want this teams to drop points but you also want your team to obviously win because there's no point dropping points and then you're not winning your own games. I would predict my start at 11 but I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. If Basically, if Luwala was fit, he needs to be starting and if Hilton's not fit, Obviously, Collins is out suspended for Luton. Then Cummins needs to come in because he's been scoring quite a lot. And every time I've seen him play, every time he's come on the pitch, he's been causing problems. So he needs to be in the team as well. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. If I was going to give a score prediction, I am going to, I am going to go with a one-all draw. I feel like 3,000 Luton fans deserve to go there and celebrate a goal. If I'm going to be greedy, I would like it in the 90th minute just so I can see scenes. It'd be nice to capture some scenes and enjoy a last minute equaliser, like, yeah, equaliser or winner. Because at the end of the day, when we was in that conference winning season, we had like trips to Cambridge and to Dartford. Dartford's still my favourite away game. We were 1 0 down and then we came back to win 2-1 which was fantastic but there you have it guys that is the end of the video if you did enjoy it drop a like comment down below your score predictions for this game against Charlton let me know your thoughts about this game as a whole subscribe to the channel if you are new follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already and I'll see you guys in the next video